yeah hello everyone good morning and good evening so let us start the session so today is our session 4 on react js what we have discussed in the last session we have discussed about the react js application flow what is the entry component in react js application everyone uh, unmute yourself and answer the questions Yes, sir. What is the index.js index file? Next okay. What is the purpose of type of keyword? This is, will be showing the data type for that. To know, uh, to know the variable data type. So, in general, we are assigning the data to a variable, right? Why can't we be able to know that specific type? For example, if I want to assign a string, it will string there. Why we need that specific type of keyword? <laughs> Because uh, the data is uh, changed dynamically. So right. if we want it JavaScript specifically, it is the dynamically typed. So here we are giving the definition type of a keyword. Type of a is a keyword which is used to get the specific type of a variable. Okay. But what is the necessity? It means uh, in the JavaScript, variables are dynamically typed. So the type is going to be changed. So if you want to get the type, you need to use the type of keyword. Next. So for this question, I'm expecting from everyone. What is the data type? Everyone, unmute. Data type holds the type of the data. Basically, there are two types, primitive and non-primitive. Data type holds the type of the data. Mm. Uh, types? Primitive yeah, and non-primitive. Non yeah, primitive and non-primitive. Primitive is nothing but a value Number type. Number integer float, it is the value type. Non primitive is a strings, objects, strings, strings, objects, 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 so in your react js application if you want to build your application so this is nothing but a building blocks or you can able to say functional units or else you can able to say units of your application whatever it is so each functionality yeah. is split into a component and the component sorry how many types of uh, react types. js component two types and class component functional component and class component okay the purpose of a functional component what is the difference between the functional and class component uh, function component before the 16.8 it is a stateless components so after 16.8 it is stateful components okay regarding the state component. one difference he gave in any other differences <coughs> okay so by seeing we have not yet seen uh, once we see we can able to give the difference it is the structure of a function sir it is a structure of a class <coughs> class component using the structure of a class functional component using the structure of a function so let us start with a functional component let us start with the functional component <coughs> so now tell me So component is the unit, uh, functional unit uh, inside of your React.js application. So first step number one, uh, how to create functional component is a JS file. In that uh, JS file create a function okay step number one let us do yes where to create okay so can we run our solution how to run the solution go to the src hmm. tell me go to the address bar open the comment yeah. or run a solution in the uh, project yes sir. if i confuse don't be confused i will be confused so you should not do inside of src yeah. 
you should be do outside why i am repeating this one now? so multiple times people are doing this test. okay do you know sometimes uh, whenever uh, freshers are come to the system maybe they are having one two years experience people are coming uh, sir how to compile this uh, one because i don't have the i mean i don't have idea about how this project in my earlier project I, my compilation was different and i think every project is the same okay what is the command npm npm is the node package manager command so it will be start once you run the npm start what will happen do you know the process no no need to worry we'll see that process in the next week session when you click on the npm start a process will be go what is the process which file will be the called and how it will be load i will tell next if you observe 3000 from where 3000 is coming can i able to change this port yes all these things will discuss okay so let me change here save the system so my changes are reflected so system is fine. now we'll create a component first if you want to create a component you can able to create outside but uh, that is not a correct so here if you observe na, new file new folder refresh expand collapse okay expand collapse next here first you need to be create a component folder why so by seeing the structure of your application everybody should be understand it should be clean okay do you know your code will be going to the auditor anybody seen about code auditing each and everything yes, uh, will be audited yeah usually we call it as code review no 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 code review is different for example as a team member you will be go to the team lead and that is the code review code review comments will be given so other than this one we don't know the 99 percent we are not going to involve in that auditing and we don't know so sometimes team leads also in the companies also don't know but small case of small case level companies will not be do that one so auditing will be happening in different places development code level testing level Hmm. security test different okay. but the testing it... and the process will be different this auditing will be different this auditing will be check for that one that is as per the structure or not for example everybody know income tax means you need to you need to be audit the case audit means you are paying everything process is going on if you want to refund you claim everything will be go but why you need to be audit means again you are declaring and giving the so and so so and so are the my capital capital value so on so i got it so on so i have paid everything you need to be so other than that one did the comp did that uh, does not have the information they have the information already companies are paying and already companies are generating the each and every statement for you know so cloud auditing testing auditing all things will be go okay so just for understand so in that code auditing means uh, so these should be your application should be like uh, perfect structure when all the structure is missed so again they will be say please change the so and so so and so okay it should be perfect in a structure so create a folder called component <clears throat> you add the component files even though it is a class component functional component you add inside of the component folder inside of component folder or component or components so components so here your components will be there so in the yesterday session i show no we are having the services where i will add i will create a one more folder called services at the end of our sessions our code should be the very clean if you are able to understand yes otherwise what will happen now files will be going increasing we are confusing to dig into that files okay next my components are there. what i need to do now click on a new file earlier i have clicked on a folder now click on a new file so while you clicking on a file you don't be focus here once you focus here it will be create outside go to the focus of a components okay observe this point go to the focus to the components so give me the file names Give me some component. 
let me create <coughs> user details dot js file your class component functional component everything is the js file why so react js using the javascript as a scripting language next here we need to be create a function create a function so what is the syntax of a function take this syntax function is the predefined keyword to create a function under function name braces braces here you need to be write a your logic so what is mean by this symbol this is less than greater than symbols are mandatory okay so example function user details is my function name braces here i will write some logic so by seeing this one give the definition so functions are what is mean by function in the place of dot 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 what we are going to be write logics so functions are a logical units functions logical units so in a javascript there is no concept of a method people will be confused between the method and the function so sometimes may be saying that one method and function both are same no both are not same both are same means why different for example ui prospect any database people are here we are having the functions so in specifically oracle mysql all these database we are having the concept of right concept of functions so coming to the java.net there is a concept of functions and the method so here everything is a function what is mean by function a functions are your logical units okay can we create a function yes function user details so user details as of now let me return a some data return let me print let me print so this session for insta of here to i mean let it be so insta of here i just want to return this data from here why so this is my logical unit i will prepare the my logic that heading logic here and i will send the data can i do yes i can okay so this is my user data js file how can i able to consume this one in another component that is the next step number 3 step number Three. Call a component in another component by using okay. In this, take a point. Calling. Function should be export. Okay, this is my calling function. It should be export. Why so? If I want to call this one, I need to be export. Then only I can able to call. Okay, so take it as a. These are the two different countries. If I want to go one country to another country, 
I need a passport. Yes, no. Same here also. If you want to consume by default, functions are private to this file. If I want to consume, I need to be export. If I say export, then this P function will be become a public function. Okay. Should be export. So this should be export. What is mean by export? If you want to call a function, if you want to call a function in another component, that function should be export. Okay, clear. So let me know if you have any doubts at any step. If you want to call a function inside from a one component to another component, that should be export. So now your function is ready. Hmm. Export is done. Next, what you need to do? Import from called component import the import the js file and use the function see here the syntax so here you need to be import from uh, dot slash what is mean by dot slash dot dot slash i will explain components slash user details. So what is the function? My function name also user details. Okay. Next, you need to use a HTML element. What is mean by HTML element? We'll explain in the design sessions. What is the HTML, HTML core components? Okay, what is mean by element, tag, attribute, everything I will give. Take this line of code. Import. Step number four. Use function name as selector selector how to do this is the one user details is my function name please take these steps first okay so while i'm dictating that please take parallel eh? next let us check it save all the files for example you have modified this file how to check it your files are changed or not here you can able to see the count so one file is not changed. one file is not changed one file is changed now so here you can able to see the count app.js is changed out of these two files so not changed file will have the cross changed file will have the dot so have that stone mark okay here you are having the dot save it so now dot is converted to the cross yes you are able to see the name yes so let us change the name so that we can able to conclude it is replicated or not welcome to react js sessions so our component is working clear the steps what are the steps we have created so here So here, what we're doing first, we have created a components folder. Inside of the components folder, we have created a file called user details.js file. So inside of this one, we have created a function. Okay. So remember this point, in general, functions are a camel class. Take a note. In general, functions uh, under variable names must be camel case what is mean by camel case uh, lower letter to upper letter for example user detail should be represented as small user capital details okay like this you need to be represented but coming to the react js uh, coming to the react js uh, if your function is a component if a function is a 
component which function this user details function is a component and used function name as a selector once you are using the function name as a selector then name must be pascal case so remember this point okay if a function is a component and used the function name as a selector the name of the function the name must be pascal case in general function names and variables name must be camel case okay that is the lower to upper letter but here we need to be follow like it should be upper so that is the thumb rule sir what will happen if i change change it you will get a exception change it if i say one point so try for this one also okay then it will be more perfect next so here we are designing the functions we may confuse now but whoever know the function so it is okay so what is a function yes we got it function is a logical unit what are the types of a functions but which function used in which case let us see yes we'll see it okay take a heading function types so how many for types of functions are general functions are parameter less parameter less functions hmm. so first let me know what are the functions you know some time back we have created one type of function with a return keyword so returnable function hmm. parameterized function if i say parameterized parameterless so there can be chance of parameterized function general normal functions parameterized functions hmm returnable functions what else just add your thought whatever you know yeah samrat shrishaila srija priyatri so make it as interactable sessions just let me know whatever you know types anonymous function lambda function hmm arrow function yeah, arrow functions lambda functions are arrow functions anonymous functions next an important one is under difficult and confusion one is callback Me. functions callback Hmm. generator function generator function all we are having the eight categories of functions are there so parameterless function parameterized function so named function is other than the anonymous and arrow functions remaining all are named functions next returnable function next anonymous function next hmm anonymous function yaro function or lambda functions next call back function so these anonymous functions so we can able to create as a variable functions also next variable function is a type of function i'm not giving in this category generator function so out of all these functions we are using the first six categories in a react js in the react js we are using the first six categories last one is the self invoking function so this also called as 
immediately invoking function i i f self invoking function or immediately invoking function okay so take a heading first one is the general or normal function function so simple you can able to add like a general or normal function or parameterless function simple define a function uh, without parameters hmm, without parameters and without uh, return keyword simply normal function example function uh, function name So other than the your React JS selectors, which are the function names, other than this one, remaining all are should be camel case. Remember this point. Simple. A function simple. I have created a function with a function name. No parameters, nothing. What means by parameterized function? A function contains input params called simply parameterized function. For example, I will give direct example addition. You want to perform a some addition or sum. What will happen? You are going to be take a some input parameters. For example, a comma b. Okay, or else you want to print a full name, F name comma L name. So the summation, the items are called literals. So you can able to say like A comma B are the literal one, literal two. Summation items are called as literals, right? Literal one comma literal two. So here you need to be perform summation. How to do literal one now plus literal two. We'll see example. First, we'll take a note and we'll see the examples. Okay. So let us take a, some practical example. We'll design a, so we'll do one thing. So here uh, I want to design a two text boxes. So one will take a first name, second text box will take a last name. So this is the first name. Here I will add a last name. When I click on a submit, uh, I mean some button name. When I click on a submit, or else uh, get full name. So once I click on this button, uh, let me show let me let us create a div here i will show this uh, combination of uh, first name and last name f name space l name so we'll take this example okay so let us design a two text boxes when i click on a full name show full name uh, we'll show this one is converting this one to a full name okay let us do yes we'll do this one so where to do here uh, we are using a some function okay so this function uh, we will create a html element so here will be the question so in general functions will be written a data either it can be written a specific type of a data the data can be a string the data can be object to the data can be so on so can i able to return a html content yes take this one as a no in the Mm -hmm. React JS, we can uh, return the 
HTML content as function output. Yes, we can return. This is possible. Specifically in a React JS. So normal HTML, I mean normal JS functions will never return the HTML content. It will only return the word either string type or object type or array type or specific type of a data type. In general, JavaScript functions will be written a specific type of a data, either object, string, arrays. But in the React JS, we can return the HTML content as a function output. So this is a simply concept of JSX. JSX. JavaScript XML. JavaScript plus XML. JSX means JavaScript plus XML. Okay. So your HTML, if you observe HTML, HTML is same like XML. So XML means it is contained the nodes. What is mean by node? If you observe here, are you observing here? Here I'm having a HTML content. See here, in general, XML contains the nodes under tags symbol. So HTML is the same like XML. XML and HTML both are same. Okay, so XML is, a, and what is the difference between HTML and XML? So browser understanding thing is the HTML, that's it. Hypertext markup language is the language. Inside of that one, you are having the specific nodes are in the format of XML. HTML will be follow the format of XML, that's it. HTML will be follow the format of XML. HTML will follow the format of XML, simple. So from the JavaScript, you are returning the XML simply. This is a treating as JSX concept. So this JSX concept is a specific to this JSX concept is specific to React JS. Okay. So in the React JS, we can be able to return the HTML content as a functional output. In general, functional output should be like a specific type of a data. Okay. So here JSX means JavaScript plus XML. In general, HTML, HTML will follow the format of XML and your JavaScript function returning the XML. This is the concept of JSX. Okay. This is simply called as a JSX. See here, here I'm returning some data now. So if you're able to observe here, I'm having some data. But I want to have, I want to show this one as a bold data. How to add this one as a bold data or else I want to make this one as a header data. How to make this one as a bold data, tell me. In general, let us write some HTML content, yes. So first to create a div, I want to represent this data in the form of a bold. Hmm. How to tell? Tell me. What is the tag? B. The tag is B. Here you need to be write a content. That's it. Can I able to represent uh, this content directly instead of here? Yes, you can represent. Okay. So better formation. Uh, better formation here you need to be add a uh, braces just for the formation you want to need a specific formation for that specific formation you need to be added braces so uh, now i can able to expect bold so how to make this one is the headings simple you are having the six categories of headers right? no need to write that point i will give those in the html sections H1 to H6. H1 to H6. See here. Here I can able to see in the form of a header. So the function can return only specific type of a data, but in the React JS, our functions also will return the HTML content directly. HTML content directly. Okay. So this uh, is implemented specifically in the React JS. React JS uh, people implemented this one as a part of the concept called JSX. JavaScript XML. 
So why so? Here you are having the JavaScript code and the XML code. Ultimately, this is the XML. But this XML will be rendered on a browser show like a, some HTML content. That's it. Okay. Next, I want to bind some data. I want to bind some data. So to bind this data, let us create some variable. So how many ways to create a variable? How many ways to create a variable in a JavaScript? Three ways. What are those? Let and where. Let a var and constant also. Constant. Three ways are there. Let a var and constant. Okay. So let us create a variable. Let. So what is the difference between the var, let and constant? So in my channel, we're having a series of JavaScript. Now there you can able to go and check it. So I have given a video on that one. So let a f name or else some name. is equal to so where i need to be bind so here welcome to session so here i want to bind some paragraph or else some more one more header like h3 so how to bind the data take this one data binding in a react js so in general, data bindings are, I mean, different. We take a different angular means there is a number of categories. But in coming to React.js, there is only one categories of to bind the data. There is no other categories. In the React.js, we're having the only one type of data binding. That is? Double curly braces. No, single curly braces. Double means it is an angular. So that is a concept of interpolation or string binding. Sir, what about event binding? On click, we are going to be create on click event, no? but in the React JS, maybe people may say oh, two types either interpolation or event binding, but that is not a correct. So as per the React JS, they are giving the only one type of binding that is called interpolation or string binding or expression binding. So only one type of binding that is expression binding. So which is represented by, represented by like this, single curly brace. Here you need to be right whatever the data or the content. Okay. So let me go back here. So here my name is there now, how to bind the data? Tell me. By using single curly braces and uh, single curly braces. Sir. So inside of the single, make it as interactable. Yes. Try to be interact. Don't be silent. I know everybody is listening the session. Huh? Make it as interactable. So what is the expression syntax? Variable name. No, singular curly braces. Okay. So here you need to be write a variable name. That's it save this information so that information will be replicated so in the react js the data binding is only one type that is called expression binding so remaining for example people may save the event binding but that is not event binding that is a general events only okay so like this we can able to print so i want to print a last name okay so let me print a different name now. Okay, so how, where can I able to print my last name? Can I create one more H3 tag? Or else after the first name, can I create, can I add my last name? So now Contact tell me how can I able to do? We can concatenate. So we Plus. can able to concat L name. Mm. So now we can able to see two strings are append. So this is the concept of a string format. I will give the string format, no need to worry. 
so string can be formatted in different ways and string can be represented in a three ways also so i will explain about all these strings at one time okay no need to worry so simple take this example how to print a name by using the data binding So creating a function, returning the A plus B is not a correct example. Let us go with the real practical examples. So today you are binding the names. So in the next week, you, we are going to be fetch these names from the database. We are going to be create an API. Okay, in that API, you are going to be have the data. That data, it will be get from the API and you are going to bind that API data to be here. Okay, step by step, we'll go. First, we'll hard code the data. Next, we'll create an API and next, we'll add the data to a API. Next, we'll get a data from the API. Okay. By next week, you will get it. So how to save the data inside of my API? So still I was in the basics. Can I do? Yes. I'm here now to explain everything. Done. So now I can able to print uh, the name like this. Uh, so instead of uh, like this, uh, can I able to create uh, two text boxes when I click on a show full name uh, will display the name. Okay, so that is the user interactable controls we need. So let us create a user interactable controls. In HTML, what are the user interactable controls? In HTML, what are the user interactable controls? Input uh, types. Yes. yes, input controls are the user interactable controls. Okay, mm -hmm. I will give the list if you don't know, no need to worry. So I need a, how many controls? I need the two text boxes. One, button control. Input, two text boxes, uh, one button control. Button also a type of input, na? button can be represented in a different ways. Either you can able to use the input type button, na? type, button. So here I need the input type, type is equal to text. So here also one more input type is equal to text. So two text boxes, one button. Let us see the output. So here I can have two text boxes, one button. But where is my name of a button? Okay. Where is the name? Yes, we'll add the name. So button name will be added by using the attribute called value. Show full name. Okay. So here I'm having the text box one now. We'll add VKC. Here we'll add a trainings when i click on the show full name will show the full name we can see plus trainings below here so if you want to show again you need a one more element so let us create a one more div to show the information so this is for the these controls for the input controls This is for a display full name. Okay, so UI is ready. Our UI is ready. When I click on the show full name, it should be display. So what is the process it will involve? When you click on here, observe here. When you click on here, what are what the things are involved? I need to collect this data and I need to collect this data and I need to connect this data. I need to display the data. Okay, if I want to call a some person, what I need? If I want to, I'm having the 10 plus members in our current session is going. Okay, if I want to call a specific person, how can I be able to call? By the person name. Or else I need an ID. Something identification is required. The identification can be a name. The identification can be an ID. The identification can be a so-and-so. Okay, so let us see the identify, how to identify an element in terms of a JavaScript. Let us see how to identify an element in terms of JavaScript. So that is by using 
question id how to identify an element in a javascript by using by using id why so id is the unique one sir can i use the class name also can i identify yes you can do but uh, uniquely if you want to identify by using the id property by using id attribute by using yd attribute sir what is this attribute is the technical term yes so in a html element contain a tag and the attributes the purpose of a attribute is there purpose of a tag is there and the types of attributes are there types of tags are there and the types of elements also is there we'll give the entire list but no need to worry by this moment okay so let us give some id id is equal to f name this is the first name here id is equal to l name okay so my ids are ready for this uh, text box control i have given the f names so for this text box control i have given the l name so now i am using this variable to bind in the data no can i remove yes we can able to remove or else uh, let us comment those variables in earlier session we have seen uh, how to comment slash slash or slash asterisk okay if you want to add a comments in a react to js jsx so this is the syntax in the jsx comment syntax is this is the one expression and slash star star slash okay so this is the type of representing the comments in the jsx so we are having the two ids now what we need to do let us create a function why i need to create a function so i need to take a user name f name and l name and i need to concatenate na that is nothing but a action right so that is nothing but a logic right if you need to take a l name and f name and you need to concatenate so logics will be perform inside of a functions let us create a normal function function user full name so in this function i create used as a which type of the case camel or pascal it is the camel case so here let us create a variable let f hmm, name is equal to let l name is equal to so how to get the values from this text box control if you observe here i'm having the text box 1 and the text box 2 when i click on the show full name i need to display the data so to perform this one created a separate function why so separate a function is a, a logical unit so inside of this function i will collect this first name and the last name and append and display this result here hmm. So what is the syntax to get an element data in a JavaScript? Data element by ID. How to get a element data in a JavaScript? Yes, not only one or two members, everyone try to interact. So what is the way? How to get an element data? There any image on Rajendra, Riyatri, Sri Sailam, Samra. Yes, sir, speak out. Element so by how ID. To get element by ID. Before that one, if I say element by ID, can I get? Get element by ID. Yes, get element by ID. Can I write get element by ID? It will work. Yes. Get element by ID dot F name. We have to give provide document the dot, uh, variable name document dot. So here you need to be write document. document dot. If you say get element by id, from where can I get element by id? Okay. Get element by correct. Your answer is the correct general get element by id. But which we need to be used, we need to use the document dot get element by id. So what is this document? There are a four global objects. 
okay in the next session i will explain the four global object one is the window object document object location object screen object like this we are having the global object while we are explaining the concept of a data types in the specific to object at that time we will give the few objects okay so we need to get a one of the object called document so what is mean by document so everyone able to see this screen here everybody able to see the screen here right from uh, yes. starting here 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 to here so i just uh, marked as a red mark inside of this one uh, the entire screen is called as a document this screen is represented by using a document okay so how i can able to get the name so my text box inside of the document so i can able to use a document dot get element by id here i need to pass an element by id what is the id f name f. dot value hmm. so now everyone tell me how can I able to get a l name document dot get element document by ID dot get element yes. by id hmm. here you need to be pass l name and dot value dot value okay so by this you can able to get f name and l name okay next you want to print here on which basis you want to print for example i'm having that three person so two persons will give the data for example emaja give me the input here yes, she will give dhadri give the input they given i want to now i need to give the information to the nearest so how can what i need to do so again wherever you want to display the data for that element also create an id okay so now i'm explaining in terms of a javascript how to deal with the data binding we'll use the react js concepts to dealing with the data binding it is very simple okay so how to do Some give me thing. some id full name so here is the full name yes document dot get a element by id what is my id full name mm. now dot inner html so output of this one is nothing but a simple text or html na? so i want to bind how to bind f name plus l name done my function is ready are you clear with this function so in this line i'm getting the first name in this line i'm getting the last name so first name plus last name is appending and sending this total information as html content to this div okay so now i need to call this function how to call a function how to get element data in javascript using document object and its get element by id method next react js take a next id invoking or calling a function so how to invoke or call a function in react js let us see the how to call a function uh, and we'll close the session uh, tomorrow we'll see about uh, anonymous functions in the next session we'll see about how to create a variable function anonymous function lambda function or arrow functions and self invoking function okay so how to call a function means uh, so on which basis you want to fire an event when you click on a button so you are going to have on click inside of braces you need to write uh, anonymous function so this arrow function this is nothing but arrow function by this moment no need to worry okay by this moment no need to worry simply call here take this one as a syntax call function take this one as a syntax once you are strong in the this syntax is na 
it will be very easy to learn the subject. We'll go step by step, step by step. So earlier, as of now, what we have seen, we can able to create a project. Next, we can able to create a component. Next, we can able to bind the data inside of a component. Next, we can able to dealing with the functions to interact between the data. So that is what we have completed. That is the one simple flow. So today, if you are working on the React and got a new project to bind to some registration details, means this is the enough. Okay. So where I need to be called here, I need to be called user full name. Okay. So let me refresh. We can see. Let me give training. Let me click on a full name. able to see yes so let me change krishna trainings able to see yes hope able to see right anybody here the having the so samrat just take you yeah. so able to see yes. so this is the way we are using the javascript data binding so we can able to deal this binding very simply by using the react js so any questions as of now here uh, if we want to use the auto solutions we need to again uh, create a new div right sir so you want to add auto suggestions like for example i want to type sa s a you need to be show the samrat you are saying that auto suggestions Yes, sir. So auto suggestions means we need to be create auto complete or else if you are using the browser form control. Once a form is submitted, in general we are using the browser form controls. So once you submitted the form, by default form contain the auto complete property as a true. That I will show. Okay. So sometimes we are thinking like a browser is showing the some auto complete. That is specific to the browser, not from the database. Okay, so browser level we can able to create auto complete, uh, or else from the database level we can, I mean, from the API level we can able to create auto complete. On the basis we can able to get. So in general, React JS if you observe, na auto complete means you need to install a third party library. Yes or no? Anybody work on auto complete uh, React JS? Very simple steps. So three steps you need to be use by yourself. You can able to create auto complete. So once you type the name, I will give the list of the user. If you type D H, Dharni will be shown. If I say Sri Sai Sri, yes, R means Sri Sai Lim data will be shown. Okay, so like this. If I say R, whoever is the start with R, Rajendra, Riyatri, and who are having the Harish, R is there na, Dharni, R is there na, all these values also will be shown. Okay, those type of auto complete also we can able to implement. Okay, so as of now, what we have completed. We have discussed about a comp. What is the component and how to create a component? Next, what is the function and the types of a function? So, in the types of functions, how many functions we have seen as a human? Two functions. See here. This is the returnable function. Or this is the normal function. Okay. Next, so how to deal with the data binding in the React JS? We have seen the expression bind. Next, how to get the data and add the data? Using an HTML element, sir, from the JS, in the JavaScript point of view, we have seen. Okay, uh, drop. So, Neeraj, you are having this some doubt. Oh, uh, what is the use of braces? Can you elaborate the question, please? So, is this braces you are asking? Yeah, Niraj, you are speaking, but we can't able to hear you. Hello. Or else, it seems to be have some mic issue. You can text me. So this is the syntax. If you say this brace is, sir, when I added the created the class name like this, you said what is this brace means? This is the syntax. Sir. This is the name of the function creation. Okay. These braces are the expression binding. Okay. This is the comment binding. This is the earlier we seen the data binding okay so let us have the quick question sir so what we have seen how to create 
functional component next types of functions next data binding in a react js this you can able to call as expression binding also next call event for nothing but a click action in a react js next javascript get and show data nothing but a javascript data binding how we are going to do deal with the javascript javascript data binding now by using the document object okay so how many types of means now there have there are the number of objects are there but coming to the browser which we are seeing now there is a four different types of object so that's it for today take it as a lamp so team from the tomorrow onwards videos will be the private one so please uh, text me your email ids okay already i have got the confirmation if anybody one or two members may be missed give me confirmation and send me your email okay so already created the lab link also few members i have forwarded few had to be do if you miss text me i will give the lab link also okay so i will keep watching on this one so that you can able to know how we are going to be progress and i also know about so yeah create a functional component create a functional component okay so in general don't be follow the order but in the real time explanation you should not follow the order i will take a functions and data binding both together will go okay so functions at one time data binding at one time na so it's not a correct way to but simply follow me so create a functional component and bind data bind static data for example here you created a two variables so provide the f name and a l name and bind that like that. next create a functional component and take the data from input controls and bind to an element okay are you able to do so that is for today's session no?